I think it's important for all of us to understand the enemy that Israel faces today, Hamas terrorists, part of the terrorist infrastructure. We've had many enemies in our history. The greatest murderers in the history of mankind were the Nazis. Nobody can compare to the Nazis. But the Nazis themselves revered life. Take a look at what happened to Eichmann and Mengele when they were both on the run after the war. Eichmann was a laborer working in a factory. He would get up early in the morning, do hard work, just to live an extra day. Mengele was hiding in the jungles just to live an extra day. But Hamas terrorists and their supporters, mothers cheering for their children to become martyrs, they revere afterlife. They re revere death, whereas we revere life. And this is a new kind of enemy. That's why we feel strongly. And 17,400 people have signed the Simon Wiesenthal Center petition calling on the Obama administration to end the, the, the national unity government, to tell Mahmoud Abbas, you cannot have a national unity government that includes Hamas terrorists. And it makes no difference if Hamas says, we're going to give you technocrats who wear suits, who are university professors. If they're members of Hamas, they believe in their ideology, which is that death is more important than life. And that is something that we cannot tolerate. So we call on all members of the Simon Wiesenthal Center, pass this petition to your friends, to your family. Have them sign this. Let's get 50,000 people to sign this petition to say, you cannot have a deal with a culture that reveres death more than life. 